What is going on, my lusty, lusty programmers that I just want to dip in chocolate and serve to my binary computer? What is going on, guys? It's Real Touch Email here, back with another Java game development tutorial for you guys. And today, what we're going to do is something that was recommended by a couple people. I've been reading the comments, I've been reading my Twitter. And uh, first one, we're going to do we're going to do a couple things today. But I want to go ahead and do a pause menu for in game, which is actually a lot easier than you might think. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make a difficulty level or system in the menu, right? So when you hit play, you can choose easy mode or, or normal mode or hard mode. And if you pick hard mode, we can make a uh, I had like an idea for taking our basic enemy and basic uh, our basic enemy and making it a harder enemy. So instead of so making it very unpredictable and all that, I'll, I'll kind of show you the vision that I had uh, w when we get to that part. But uh, all right, so let's go ahead and start off. So I want to go ahead and make a pause menu for the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a public static boolean. And this is going to be paused, and it's going to equal false. All right. And what I want to do is inside key input, I want to say, um, we'll say right down here, if key equals key event dot vk underscore p for pause. Then we're going to set game dot paused to equal true. Well, actually, you know what? We have to do just a little bit towards that. So, all right, make some curly braces here, and we just got to have to say if game dot paused. So this means if we're already paused, then paused equals false. Else game dot paused equals true and this needs to be game not pause so pretty simple so basically when we hit P if if we're paused then we're gonna make it false if we are not paused then we are going to make it uh, true and we also need to check and see what I'm gonna do here is if if our game state is in the actual game, so right. So we don't want to be able to pause the game if we if we're not in game, so to say. So if I hit P in the menu system, I don't want it to show up paused because that that just doesn't doesn't quite make sense. So what I'm going to do is, you know what? I'm probably just going to end up creating a game class here, right? And then inside here, I'm going to say if game dot game state equals state if it does not equal state dot menu so anything else but that then we'll do or you know what no let's just do game probably makes sense and let me just just to make sure that this works I'm gonna put game equals new game just put it in the constructor just to make sure all right, and I'm not sure why this is yellow, but we will go with it. All right. Um, wait, why do we have an error here? All right. Okay. Missing a curly brace. All right. So now what we do is we go into the game class here, and we go over to our tick method. And basically here we can say if not pause right so take this paste it into here and there we go so pretty much if if it's not pause it's gonna run everything and I want to go ahead and do the same thing for here except I want to say if pause I want to go ahead and do g dot draw um, string paused at 100 
100. All right. So let's go ahead and test the game. So go ahead and run it. Oh, and we get an error. Oh, and that is because when we initialize, initialize key input, uh, do, do, do. I am sorry that, where's key input? There it is. We actually need to put in the constructor here, game, game, and this dot game equals game. My bad, all right. So now we can go ahead and just save this. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing today. Here we go, all right. And there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and try and run it. And let me go ahead and turn off the music here. Alright, so we hit play, we're going around, we hit P, and oh, it doesn't actually stop updating. Why is that? Let's see, let's go over to our tick method here. Um, we need to move handler.tick into here. And we're also going to move handler.tick into here as well, um, just so that it always works in the menu. All right, let's try it again. So we hit play, hit pause, and now I can't move my keys. We hit it again. And there we go. So it basically stops everything. We are at a deadlock. And let me go ahead and just change d.draw or set color to color.white. All right, and we'll play it again one more time just to see it in effect. So again, this was not very difficult to do at all. So we hit P, and there we go. So we've now paused the game. I try and hit any anything, and it doesn't work. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up another menu system here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the menu, and I'm gonna create another state. So actually, let me go into the game class here and let me create another state. And this is going to be, um, I'm just gonna call it select. So just selecting your difficulty. So in the menu, I want to go into our render method here. And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna copy this. and paste it here else if game state equals state dot select then I want to say select difficulty and here I'm going to say normal hard and back All right, so now when we go into our, or right up here into our mouse pressed and we click on the play button, instead of this, which I'll just comment out for now, we are just going to say game.gameState equals state dot select so if we run that and try it out we hit play uh, now we're not getting anything because we need to go into our game class here and go to the tick method game state equals state dot select and in our render method the same thing or game state equals state dot select. We'll try it once more.
And also notice if I am in the menu that the pause button doesn't work. So we hit that and here we go. So we got normal, hard, and back. So we can't quite quick click anything yet. We need to change the select difficulty uh, font just a little bit. Let's try 140 there. And here what I'm gonna do is is say, all right, if our game state, let me copy this and say, if our game state equals select, then this is going to be the normal button. This would be the hard button and this would be the back button. All right, so then all we have to do is pretty much go to our game class here and we're gonna create one more static variable. And this is just basically going to be our difficulty. So public, uh, I don't think we need to make it static though. Int, we're gonna call it diff equals zero. So zero equals normal. And we're gonna have one equals hard. And if we go to our spawner class, we can initialize the game. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the menu here. And so if we hit the normal button, what we wanna do is do what we, we would normally do and change it to that. And game.diff equals zero. Now if we do the hard, we're gonna do the same thing. Copy that, paste it here, but we're gonna make the difficulty one. And instead of making a basic enemy, what we're gonna do is make a hard enemy, which we are going to create right now. So let's go to our ID and create a new, this is gonna be hard enemy. And it just behaves just a little bit differently. And what we can also do is based on if it's hard or not, and here I'm gonna say um, hard enemy, or we can keep it a basic enemy, just so we don't have to change the collision around. I'm just gonna change this to hard enemy, which we don't have yet, which I'm gonna go over here, copy everything from basic enemy, create a new class, call it hard enemy, and just put all that in there and use Eclipse to change the title. All right, so it's basically the same thing except let me just change the color to yellow just so we can see a difference. And then we can go into coding the hard enemy here. All right, so we're gonna create a hard enemy, clear all the objects, do all of that fun stuff. And then for the back button, we're just going to um, Oops, we're gonna take this, copy that and paste it. So if we run it, we hit play. Um, oh, hold on a second here. Let's do that and hit return. I think. There we go. So we get back, we get back. If we hit normal, it starts off normal. If we go ahead and go and select hard, we should get the yellow enemy. So we'll hit hard, and there we go. So now the enemy is yellow. So now we have these different uh, states. And what you can do to make it harder, if you really wanted to, was in the spawn class, all you have to do is initialize our game. So I'm gonna create a new instance of our game. So private game game. Put it in the constructor, game game. This dot game equals game. And here all you have to say really is if game dot diff equals zero, then we're basically gonna take all of this, 
that's equals equals and put it into here copy this else if our difficulty equals one then we can just instead of making a basic enemy we'll just make a hard enemy and just keep making a hard enemy so copy that paste it down here we'll make a we'll make some of those a fast enemy and there you go so with our uh oh, let's go to the game real quick and settle that up i'm just gonna say this because we added that into the constructor and so with our hard enemy what i'm going to do is um initialize random here so private random r equals new random and when we hit the boundaries I'm going to put these in curly braces and here I am going to say if our velocity y is less than zero then I'm gonna say velocity y equals negative r dot next int say seven plus one because we wanted a minimum of one times negative one else and then we're going to do the same thing here, except no negative. And I think that should work. So let me copy that, paste it here, and change this to X. And we go ahead and run it. So what I'm trying to do is like every time the enemy hits the edge of the wall, it like changes speeds right so there we go so it looks like it did work then oh it's a little bit glitchy but it's making the enemies a little bit less predictable and uh, in my opinion making this harder and we just lost an enemy there so this is kind of a, a glitchy system um, you could probably work out the the kinks of it if you really wanted this system or, or this kind of dynamic in the game but uh, yeah and let me go ahead and die say try again and that brings us right back to the normal let's go ahead and when we die what I want it to do is um, bring us back to the menu Whoop, which means hold on a second that we can't be adding all of this Let's try that again. Hit play. Let's try normal mode this time. And come on. I die. Score of 357. Try again. We hit play. We try hard now. And then we go to hard. Cool. So that's going to be it for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 200 likes this time. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. So I am taking comments. I am taking everything. And if you didn't understand the video or if I went a little fast, then go ahead and rewatch it or ask me in the comment section. I'll try and monitor all of that. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.